What's your husband feel like being now married to a Dane? I'm not saying he very much wanted me to do it, but he encouraged me. He said, yes. I think he thought that he would be called Sir, but of course he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Helen Mirren is an English film producer, actress, and voice actor who's best known for her role as Cleopatra in Antony and Cleopatra, which was released back in the year 1965. The award-winning actress has done extensive work on screen, stage, as well as television. The famous actress is also popular for her role in Prime Suspect, a TV series, and her portrayal of Elizabeth II in The Queen, which was released in 2006. The actress won an Academy Award for her role in this movie, other awards won by Helen include four Emmys, two Cannes Film Festival Best Actress Awards, four BAFTAs, and three Golden Globe Awards. And you went to convent as well, didn't you? Yeah, I went to a convent grammar school. Do you enjoy that? Not very much. I don't like schools. I was a teacher later on. I didn't enjoy that either. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Her full name is Dame Helen Lydia Mirren, but she's also known as Little Mother Russia, Helen and Popper. She was born July 26, 1945 in Hammersmith, London, England, United Kingdom, making her 75 years old at the time of this production. She stands 5 feet 4 inches or 1.63 meters tall. The hobbies of this superstar include dressmaking and gardening, and she thinks that sex gets better with age. Back in 2007, the award-winning actress was voted as the world's sexiest older woman. She once revealed in an interview with the Times UK that she grew up without TV. Furthermore, she also said she never went to the cinema. Who knew that a girl who grew up without a TV set would become one of the most popular and highest paid actresses in the world? Her favorite color is yellow, and back in the year 2013, Helen dyed her hair pink, which became a trend. Helen once said that she doesn't like talking on the phone, and the actress also fears flying. She weighs 66 kilograms, and her eye color is blue, while the color of her hair is gray. Discussing her religious beliefs, she revealed in 1990 that she's an atheist. In an interview in 2008, Helen said that she was date-raped as a young woman. The famous actress is currently married to Taylor Hackford, who's an American film producer, TV producer, TV director, screenwriter, and film director. However, let me also tell you the actress once vowed that she would never marry. Mirren met her husband back in 1985 on the set of the movie White Nights. Taylor's been Mirren's partner since 1986, and the couple married on December 31, 1997, after dating for nearly 12 years. This is Helen's first marriage, and she has no children. On the other hand, it was Taylor's third marriage, and he has two children from his previous marriages. Before Mirren started dating Taylor Hackford, the actress lived with Liam Neeson, who's also a famous actor. She lived with Neeson in the early 1980s, and the pair met while working on the set of Excalibur, which was released in 1981. Do you, in your pursuit of, of, of the ambition of being a successful actress? A successful or a, or a serious, serious actress, because mm. serious actresses can't have mm. big bosoms. Is that what you mean? Back in the year 1945, the award-winning actress was born Helen Lydia Mirinoff in Hammersmith. She was born at Queen Charlotte's and Chelsea Hospital and was the second of three children of her parents. Helen's father changed the name of the family to Mirin back in the 1950s when Helen was only nine years old. Her father, Vasily Petrovic Mirinov, played the viola with the London Philharmonic and later left the orchestra. Then he became a taxi driver as well as a driving test examiner. Vasily eventually started working as a civil servant. On the other hand, Helen's mother, Kathleen Alexandrina Eva Matilda, was a working-class Englishwoman. Kathleen was the daughter of a butcher who supplied meat to Queen Victoria, and she was the 13th of 14th children of her parents. Helen's father was a Russian who came to Britain with his father when he was two years old. Discussing Helen's upbringing, the actress considers it to have been very anti-monarchist. She was brought up in Leigh-on-Sea, Essex, and her older sister is Catherine. The actress had a younger brother, Peter Basil, who died in 2002. 
Helen attended Hamlet Court Primary School and St. Bernard's High School for Girls. She would act in school productions, and the actress also had the lead role in a school production of Hansel and Gretel while she was attending Hamlet Court Primary School in Westcliff-on-Sea. The actress attended the New College of Speech and Drama in London, and when she turned 18, she auditioned for Britain's National Youth Theatre. After joining the National Youth Theatre, she appeared in National Youth Theatre's production of Antony and Cleopatra when she was 20 years old. Helen says this role launched her career. When she was 19 years old, Helen joined the Royal Shakespeare Company and worked for 15 years with this company. While working with Royal Shakespeare Company, the famous actress appeared in Cressida in Toilus and Cressida. Julia in Two Gentlemen of Verona, and Rosalind in As You Like It. The film career of this successful actress began as an extension of her stage performances. She starred in the film versions of her Royal Shakespeare Company's productions. Helen's first film was A Midsummer Night's Dream, which was released in 1968, and later she appeared in several films, including The Long Good Friday, Excalibur, and Cow. Mirren won the Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival for her role in Cow. She was even nominated for an Oscar for her role in The Madness of King George, which was released in 1994. The beautiful actress extended her film career into the 21st century and appeared as an English housekeeper in the film Gosford Park which was released in 2001. Helen was nominated for the second time for an Oscar for this role. In 2015, she appeared in Woman in Gold, which was a commercial success. I like it because it's a stonking great leading role and <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you don't get that often as a woman, actually. No. The actress mainly earned money through her acting skills. She's one of the highest paid actresses in the world and has earned millions of dollars by appearing in several successful films such as Elizabeth I, National Treasure, Monsters University, and White Knights. Since she's also a film producer and voice actor, these skills have also helped her to accumulate more money in her bank account. The highest grossing films of this superstar include The Fast and the Furious, Fast and Furious Present, Hobbs and Shaw, and Monsters University. Furthermore, since she's a well-known actress, Helen is highly marketable and brand endorsements have helped her make some extra cash. The product endorsements of this actress include Marks & Spencer, WeFit Plus, and Virgin Airlines. Helen Mirren has a total net worth of $50 million. Helen Mirren owns a massive house in Los Angeles, and Helen and her husband Hackford have owned this beautiful home since 1986. The couple also owns a farmhouse in the south of France, as well as a flat in London. However, their home in the French Quarter is what Helen considers as her base. She says that whenever she's working in England, it's New Orleans that the actress is homesick for. The couple acquired their home in the French Quarter after spending time in Baton Rouge. Helen Mirren is likely to own the following cars, a Chevy Equinox, a Range Rover, a Mercedes CLK, a 
and Austin Rover FX3.